Do you like Android home screens? Do you like dark Android home screens? Well then, you're gonna love MyColorScreen.com's screen of the day by Gary Arts called Pure Dark. As you can see, it comes with everything that you need in a dark and minimal artistic way. Now, if you want a home screen of the day that is gonna impress everyone, including yourself, every second, you're gonna want this screen. It's got both these amazing clock and weather widgets right at the top that look like buttons. I don't even know what they do, but they look wildly impressive. As well as these three icons at the bottom, all sexy looking icons, as well as our home screen indicator that if tapped, switches our screens as simple as that. Our clock also has this red ring indicating our battery percentage. I don't know how Gary comes up with this stuff, but it's pretty neat. Let us begin with this tutorial. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start off with our Apex settings. You're gonna be starting them with the settings I provided over here. Do not forget those as they'll become quite important. So once we have set them up, we're gonna change, be changing our first wallpaper by holding down, choosing wallpapers, our quick pick wallpaper. Now because it is multiple scrolling, we select pure dark and look for the one that is double, this one here. So when you select it, it'll make two home screens like this. Great. Next, we're gonna move on to our home screen indicators. Okay, for our home screen indicators, we'll simply hold down Apex Actions. Now you have to be on home screen one and you'll select screen two. So when you tap it, it'll jump to screen two. Great. Now once you hold it down again, choose Edit, tap the, the icon, so we'll select Picture, Quick Pick, now you wanna change it to the first one that was provided here like that. Click OK, and as you can see, it looks like this one. So when tapped, it'll jump to screen two. Back and forth, back and forth. That's how we like it. Okay, next we're gonna be moving on to our UCCW at the top. Now don't worry, Gary has been humble enough to provide us with these awesome UCCW skins. To add them, simply hold down, choose widgets, scroll all the way to the bottom, choose UCCW, and you want a three by three. Next, you'll copy everything that is on that he has provided for us and we'll go open use up and you want to find where you've saved it. All you have to do then is click OK and it'll bring it up like this and we just touch, touch here and we can resize it all the way up and down. Boom, there we have it. So you just do the same to this side for our clock. You can even create hotspots if you want. If you want to know how to create hotspots, Mm, have a look at this little link right here. Finally, for our bottom, we have, you see, we can have our phone, our Gmail, as well as our apps. And on this side, we also have our text and other buttons as well. So add those, starting with our, Ape, with our app drawer. We'll hold on Apex settings, and you want to choose app drawer. Select it again, go edit, tap the icon, say select picture. But now you want a blank PNG. Don't worry, I'll provide one in the link below. Choose blank PNG. Click OK, and you'll see it has done disappeared. So you might want to drag it over the, the icon first. As you can see, you'll drag it there. And so now once taps, it will open up the app drawer. Finally, you'll do the same for both phone and Gmail, and this side as well. You can do that simply by just going into your menu. Say for phone, you hold down phone, drag it onto your screen, and then holding down and go edit to change your icon as like that. And there we have our tutorial for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please check out Gary Art's homepage. He's got some crazy skins right there, as well as MyColorScreen.com for the latest and greatest Android home screens. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to this channel as there are gonna be many more daily videos that are going to blow your mind. Thank you very much, guys.